Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Dark Slide from Chris Ramsey and Murphy's Magic. All right, so what is Dark Slide? Uh, basically, the magician uh, fans the cards. The spectator can select one card from the fan, and then just by touching the fan again, their card visually turns over. You want to see what it looks like? This is it. What is magic? A better question might be what is magic to you? Is it a visual moment? Is it creating something impossible or unexplainable? You got the card? Yeah. Remember, you guys see it? Maybe it's about connecting with people and leaving them with something unforgettable. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is magic to me? I don't think I figured that out yet. My name is Chris Ramsey, and this is Dark Slide. All right, so that was Dark Slide from Chris Ramsey. You might remember uh, I did another review for Chris Ramsey. We did Red Pill, okay? And then we just recently did his deck of cards, Memento Mori. Both of those are awesome. You should check those out as well. So a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box. It's not really a box. You're getting a little tiny black envelope and inside the envelope is your one gimmicked gaff card, okay? And then in addition to that, you're getting a little piece of paper that gives you the download code, okay? So it's all contained in that little flat um, office envelope. Is it what I thought? Uh, not, no, it's not. Um, I really thought this would have a lot more sleight of hand involved and it doesn't. So it's really, um, slight of, it's really slight free, okay? The gimmick actually does all of the work for you. How are the angles on this? I would say they're extremely good. I would say they're 100% good. Um, there's no real reason why somebody would need to be behind you because all the magic is taking place in front of you. But if somebody were behind you, they wouldn't see a thing. Uh, and like I said, it's instantaneous, soft working, and very eye-catching. Can it be inspected? Yes, because this is one of those types of gaffes that the audience never sees. This is an invisible gaff, meaning it stays in your deck the entire time. When you actually hand the card out at the end, you will be giving your spectator the real card and the gaff card will remain in your deck completely hidden. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, Chris is teaching this between two really close wall dividers and he's speaking to uh, the camera and a really bright light. Uh, and so it's kind of a very creative environment. And then all of his swipes between segments, they're all memes and internet videos that uh, kind of resemble Chris's offbeat humor. Uh, you do get multiple camera angles and uh, the video itself is 27 minutes long. Chris gives you everything you need to know. Uh, this is a wonderfully produced video. Is it well made? It's very well made. Uh, Chris did not invent this gimmick, okay? And he does give credit where credit is due. So this, this gaff itself is very old, very old. But, but what Chris has done is he's revamped it. So he has made some improvements to it, both in how it's constructed and then also in how it's presented. So that is what Chris is bringing to the table. And I think what you get in the end is a really well constructed gaff. How much practice does it require? Uh, not much. You really only need to know how to force a card. That's pretty much the hardest thing you're gonna have to do is force the card. Um, beyond that, you might have a concern that you know Chris does a perfect fan in the video, and he does. He does do a perfect fan in the video. And so you might be thinking, well, do I have to be able to do a perfect fan? No, you don't. You don't have to do a perfect fan. You just have to fan the cards. It probably will look better with an imperfect fan. 
probably. So uh, I would say don't even worry about that part. Like I said, the only thing that you'll need to do is stack the deck and then force the card and you're done. Positives, what are the positives to Dark Slide? Uh, Chris Ramsey's Dark Slide proves that vintage ideas can be cool again. This is a powerhouse prop. Negatives, what are the negatives? There aren't any, there are no negatives. It's a great prop, it's a great trick. Chris is awesome, the video is awesome. Murphy's Magic is awesome, you can't go wrong. Is it worth your money? It's only 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a handmade prop and a 27 minute video? Yes. Who would like this? Fans of card magic, fans of Chris Ramsey, fans of people that want to do spectacular eye-catching in your face magic. All right, so that was my review for Dark Slide from Chris Ramsey and Murphy's Magic. I want to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you want to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from one of your favorite Murphy's Magic retailers. Thanks. Bye.